Do you ever get to that point in your life where you kind of realize that you have no idea what you are doing and you are going to college and you're studying and you realize, I don't really know what I want to do with the rest of my life anymore. I have an idea, uh, but I don't really know because uh, I'm about at that point right now. And I feel like right now that I'm in a Sims game just aimlessly wandering around trying to figure out life. Hashtag welcome to your 20s ladies and gentlemen. My name is Liv. I want to talk about following your dreams because often the plan that you have, the plan that your parents have, and the plan that God has for you often do not coexist. They're often very different and you get to a point where you have to figure out do you want to live for yourself or do you want to live for someone else. We all have different passions, we all have different capabilities, and what we want to do and what others want us to do is completely different. God has placed different passions in your heart for a reason. And there might be other people around you who don't understand why you have this particular passion. Maybe you really love coffee and people get weirded out by that and are yo man, why are you so interested in coffee? Just a cup of coffee. No man, it's not just a cup of coffee. You have to learn to follow your passions because you will be far more successful in an area that you love than in an area that you hate or that you dislike. It is not worth going to college, putting yourself in thousands of dollars worth of debt for something that you don't even want to do and for an area that you don't even enjoy. It is not worth working day in and day out for a job that you don't even like and a career for your field that you absolutely hate. It is not worth doing that. And you will be so much happier if you are doing something that you love. When you're young, you might not be working a job that you like, but it's important that you still get that job experience anyway. However, in the meantime, take time to figure out what you enjoy. Take time to figure out what your areas of passion are. Some people might not understand your area of passion and that's completely okay. But it is so important that you follow your heart and that you follow your gut instinct and don't be pressured when people say, oh, why do you want to take up this particular instrument or why would you want to study chemistry for fun? Don't listen to those people. High school, you're probably not going to see most of the people you go to high school with again. It's really not the most four important years of your life. And don't be pressured by other people because they don't like what your interests are. If you do choose to pursue secondary education, make sure that you are going and you are studying an area that you are passionate about that you really enjoy. If you don't like science, then a nursing major is probably not the best area for you to be in because all you are going to be doing is studying math and science. But if you really love business, then go and take a couple of business classes. And remember that it is never too late to change your major and it is never too late to follow what your passion is. And it can be difficult because we don't want to be patient with our passions and we don't want to be patient with success in our passions but you have to learn to be patient if you really want to be successful some of our passions are meant to be a hobby and some of them are meant to turn into careers and you have to learn to trust your gut instinct because sometimes you might fall flat on your face but the scary thing is, is that you might actually turn out to be successful because you chose to follow your instinct and because you chose to follow something that you loved rather than choosing something that you didn't enjoy doing. Lastly, don't ever let your age, your gender, or your situation stop you from following your passion and following your dreams. People might not understand it, 
But here's the thing, you will always learn something from following your passion and you will be so much happier if you choose to do something that you love every single day. Because is it worth getting out of bed to go into a career field that you hate? And here's the thing, if you are following your passion, if you are following your dreams and you feel that God is being silent, it's usually because he has something bigger planned for you than you can even dream. So, follow your dreams, follow your intuition, that little voice inside of you that it's completely got your back and you will never regret going into an area that you absolutely love because you don't have that much time and you will be so much more productive in an area that you absolutely love than in an area that you absolutely hate. My name's Liv. It's been great having this pep talk with you. Now get up, go on out, and go follow your dreams.